in a planet Earth and we don't have other species who are trying to attack. We try to have a debate not in a comic world alone because we think that we need to use logic at the end of the day to then make up between the entire opposition that we ended up doing. Let's look at two questions for this debate. Firstly, who is better equipped than you to such kind of equipment? Secondly, what are the implications of then handing over such kind of equipment to the government? So who is better equipped to make such decisions? We think that side opposition never really engaged with us. Because they always asserted at the end of the day that Tony Spark was a very, very good man, and then that's why you need to hand that's why you need to be in the best place to make this kind of a decision. We never saw a response from Imran to say that individuals have their own limitations. So then let's look at the kind of the limitations that individuals do have. So we think that the first limitations that individuals have is that they have a limited perspective, which means that one individual comes from one background and has gone through a certain life of his own, which means that if you look at the government, there are many individuals who have many perspectives and hence they can critique each other and then make better decisions. But let's look at personal biases and limitations which come about from just being a human, right? Because we think that your personal bias comes from the emotional things like say you know people or the athletes or things that you can be in love with someone as well. If you say that with many, many superheroes, whether it's being cloud chase or when you meet Spider Man but Peter Parker would rather like ditch someone in the middle of saving somebody. And most of the
move on to expand like whatever their country size and what not we think that ultimately we do see most countries to be rational actors who take decisions based on the welfare of their own people which means that even if you have an army of animals we probably use it for the good of the people by instead to say oppressive regimes to remove them from there and remove the oppression of the people instead and then like they create a good in the world right we don't really see why then the us is such a bad actor to take such decisions what are the other things that i opposition wanted to see they said that iron man is a symbol of hope and now that it becomes a symbol of war it's a very very bad thing we think that if it's used properly in the world and if you try to reduce the things like oppression and things like you know curtail people's rights then it can still be a symbol of hope but on the your side if it's misused then that symbol of hope still gets eliminated because it's still an individual who can make bad decisions and that that symbol of hope can then go away we don't think that that, that argumentation was still stands in this debate when it wasn't really made from what were the other things that they said they said that it was going to promote the outdoor universe to come in and act We don't see why they would come and attack us suddenly, given that even nukes in the world haven't provoked them to attack us yet. We think that even that this kind of equipment has already existed for ages, that we haven't attacked each other, like even China and Russia and US have attacked each other.